This super quick tutorial will teach you how to make a fully working daily reward system in five minutes. First, let's go to game settings, security, and then enable studio access to API services. Once you've done that, go to server script service and create a new script. First, let's get data store service. This will help us determine when the player last joined so that we can check it for the daily reward. Next, we'll create that data store by doing local daily store equals data store service get data store daily rewards. Now, let's create a constant for the amount of seconds in a day. That's 86,400 seconds. Let's make a function and we'll call it give reward and this will take the player as an argument. For now, let's just put something like print reward in there. Underneath that, let's do game.players.player added connect function player. This is where we're going to check when the player last joined to determine if we should fire the give reward method or not. First, let's get the last join of the player by doing local last join equals daily store get async player dot user id the way this works is that each user id is a key inside of the daily reward data store the key will then have the recent join time using os.time now at the beginning this is not going to exist so if it doesn't exist so if not last join then let's give the reward to the player because it's their first time playing. Otherwise, let's create a variable called local diff time, as in the difference of time, and we'll get the math absolute value of the difference in time between the current OS time, which is in seconds, and the last join time. We can use the difference between os.time and last join, which are both in seconds, to see if a day has passed. If more than 86,400 seconds are between these two, then that means it's been over a day since the player last joined, so we can give them re their reward. So, if the difference in time is greater than or equal to the amount of seconds in a day, then let's give a reward to the player. We're almost done. All that's left is to update the player's last join to the current time. Inside of our give reward function, let's make a new line and let's do daily store set async player.userid and os.time. This will update the time from when the player joined to be compared on the next time they join. Let's test that our daily rewards are working by creating a leader stat with an amount of coins for the user, and then we're going to give them 100 coins every day. Let's begin with a new data store. So we're just going to call it coin store, which will be data store service, get data store coins. Now let's create a new function called load leader stats, which takes in the player as the argument. We're going to do local leader stats equals instance dot new folder leader stats dot name equals leader stats and leader stats dot parent equals player. Now make sure this name is exactly the way I put it because this is the only way that Roblox will display it on the leaderboard. Any value that we place inside of this leader stats folder will be displayed on the leaderboard. So let's create one called coins, which is an int value. So it's only integers and let's set the name to coins. That's what it will display on the leaderboard. We will set the value to coin store get async player dot user ID or zero. The reason this or zero is in here is that when the fir user first joins, they're not going to have any coins. The, the data won't even exist. So if this is nil, Roblox will use the zero, what comes after the or. Finally, let's set the parent of coins to the leader stats folder to display it. Let's go to our player added function and do load leader stats with the player as the argument. Then inside of give reward, let's go to where we printed reward and replace that with player.leaderstats dot coins dot value plus equals 100. This will update the visual of their coins to be 100 more than what it was before. And finally, let's do coin store increment async player dot user ID 100. This will update the user's data inside of the data store by 100. That's why we use this increment value is that it adds to this. With this system, every time a player joins the game, they're going to gain 100 coins and it's going to save using the data store that we created for the coins. You can put any type of reward you want in here though. I just chose one that was easy for you guys to follow along with. Let's test if this works by playing the game twice. The first time I join the game, I should get a reward of 100 coins. Now if I stop playing and rejoin immediately, I should not get any more coins, which you can see it works. Now let's test if our daily rewards work by changing the value of seconds in a day to one. What this means is that if the time between my two play sessions is more than one second, it'll think a day has passed, which means when I test here, I'm going to gain 100 more coins. 
As you can see, I'm up at 200 coins, which means our daily reward storing works and the coins are properly saving. I hope this tutorial was useful for you guys. If you have any questions, comment them and we'll answer them as soon as we can. Let us know your ideas for the next tutorial and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.